Hello and welcome to this video for PolySun SPT. In this video, I will show you one of the most important features of PolySun SPT, the draw import function. To start, I navigate to the roof tab and the draw import function. I've already entered the details for the roof. To start, I click on draw import. When you open the function, a map shows up. Here you can choose the map data, Google, Bing, and Google Maps HD are available. You can see the tools on the left side. There is a selection tool, the hand tool, the pen tool to draw, the guiding line tool, which is important for orienting drawn objects, the alignment tool to mark the south side of a roof, the length tool to measure lengths, the ridge tool to draw ridges, the eaves tool, the deactivation tool, used to deactivate area so no modules will be added automatically, and the eraser. I will use this L-shaped building to look at different tools. First I start by looking at the differences between the map data. Google Maps looks like this. It has a small optical distortion. You can see the side of the building here. Bing also has small distortions. They are, however, smaller than Google Maps HD shows a calculation from multiple pictures. This can cancel out some distortions. In this location, I will use Google Maps HD. With a click on the mouse button, you can choose a tool. I click on the reference line tool to select it. As you can see, the reference line is at the cursor. It is a straight line that can be defined with two points. I want to place it along one edge of the building. I set the first point by clicking on this corner here. I can always zoom in with the scroll wheel and move the map around by holding the right mouse button. As you can see, the line can now be turned around the one fixed point. I click a second time to place down the line completely. After placing a reference line, the reference line tool is still selected and I can continue placing reference lines. If I am done with placing guiding lines, I can press escape to deselect the tool. I reselect the tool to continue placing reference lines. I now start at this corner up here. If I hover over or close to the reference line, with the mouse, a point appears. The point means that it snaps to this reference line. This makes placing the point for the reference line easier. I set the first point on the line. Holding shift aligns the reference line either with a 90 degree angle or parallel to the first reference line. If I hold the cursor away from the reference line, it is a 90 degree angle. If I hold the mouse close to the reference line, the reference line will be placed on top of the other line, which means it is in parallel. I hold the mouse so that the reference line will be placed with a 90 degree angle and place the second point. 
the reference line tool is still selected. I now repeat this until all edges are done. I do this a little bit quicker, always clicking once to attach them and then holding shift to place the line. For the next step, I press Escape. This selects the Select tool. The Pen tool is used to draw the building outline. I left click on the Pen tool here. I click on the Polygon tool to select it. The point snaps to the intersect of reference lines. I simply connect the intersect. I click with the left mouse button beginning at this intersect and move my mouse over to the next intersect. It snaps to the intersect. Once it, once it has snapped to the intersect, I click to confirm. I repeat this until the outline is done. At the last point, the cursor turns into a hand. This means that the outline is a closed loop. Now we have fully drawn the building. The building is done, but the ridges of the roof are still missing. For that, we use the ridge tool. I select the ridge tool by clicking on it. It can draw one or multiple ridges at the same time. We only need to draw one ridge at a time, so we use the one ridge. I start by placing the cursor in the middle of this edge. Once again, the point snaps to the middle of the edge. Now that it has snapped to it, I click. As you can see, PolySun draws ridges by interpreting inputs. The ridges are wrong right now, but that will be fixed once we are done with drawing the ridges. I hold shift to align the ridge with the guiding line at the edge. I click on the end point of the first ridge where it goes into the other roof. The ridge tool is still selected. So I deselect it by pressing the escape key, since there are no ridges that go on from that point. Polysun still sees ridges where there are none. This means that there is still work to be done for the correct roof. We need to place a ridge on the right part of the building. I select the ridge tool and go to the middle of the edge where it snaps to. I hold shift and move the cursor to the other edge and connect it using the left mouse button. Now the ridges are done. We can see that the roof is drawn like it should be. I press the escape key to deselect the ridge tool. These arrows here show the alignment of modules on that roof. They always point at the bottom of the roof. With this, we are now done and you now know the most important tools of the draw import feature.